hello everyone welcome back to my channel if it's your first time on this channel i am an aim poaching i'm an author and i also do business today's video is me planting sweet potatoes i've got sweet, some sweet potatoes here which i've got from asda but you can get this from your local afro-caribbean stores if you're in, based in the uk um the nearest one is um, the nearest one to me is in Wellingborough and another nearest near um, which is called Kaka and another nearer one is also in um, Northampton which is called Kaka and there's actually quite a few in in Northampton so the um, what's it called there's quite a few in Northampton and if you can't if you um, can't travel that far um you can get these also from tesco and lido okay if you are based in rushton and you're trying to get some sweet potatoes these are quite decent i've, I've used the asda ones they're quite decent so just make sure that you don't put a lot of water when you're cooking it however that is a story for another day when i begin to create recipes okay but today i'm going to show you how to plant these for my sweet potato greens you know the leaves of the sweet potatoes can is actually edible and that is the reason why i'm planting it at it um at this time and it's going to be staying in my greenhouse until it's ready to um be used and then i'll bring it into my kitchen and pop it on the windowsill where i can open the windows and it'll get still get some fresh air and all of that stuff until winter okay so let us begin our process i've got four of them here and then i've got three pots um three pots here okay now in the pots i've already got a, um, a little bit of compost if you can see okay hopefully my camera is picking it well um daylight say daylight is not on our side today because it's raining on and off however i'm using my and um normal light electricity uh what's it called so let us begin so basically the edible part i'm going to be using it in a recipe called um in a sweet potato recipe which i will serve i'll boil this and then i'll serve it with a, a sauce called binera which is made from um what's it called ground nuts or if you're in the uk it's called peanuts the red shelled peanuts okay so i'll show you guys when i'm doing a, um, a recipe video but that's um content for another day okay so you just peel just make sure that you don't cut it too um too on top just let it have a little bit of flesh to hold it okay so let it have at least a little bit of shell okay if if i wasn't going to be planting it i would have um i would have just done this and then i would have used it in my compost but because i'm planting it i want it to be um, to have a little bit of body to it okay so then you pop these in here okay so I've got one and then I do another one okay so don't forget to leave a bit of body to it okay so that's another one and then third strip okay so that is that so that's one pot done okay so I may not need to use all of that all of the four potatoes but let's see how it goes so that's another pot that I have with compost in it already as I've shown you before make sure that your 
your pill is actually touching the compost so then it creates a, a bed for um what's it called to to make roots basically so like that okay i'm gonna have to adjust this one because it's a bit high uh, it's not touching the compost So let us continue and then the tip bit you just cut it and add it to your pot so whichever part will grow will grow and you can do the same thing with um, with normal potatoes uh, the, the ones that is not sweet potatoes the ordinary everyday potatoes the what In the normal potatoes yeah so that's another one I, I have to cut use my kitchen scissors to cut a bit off and I'll pop everything still into the into the pot I just have to make sure that it is doing it is touching the what's it called the compost to make the growth pro process easier so that's another pot done okay and that's another one with compost in it okay so basically the the sweet potato greens recipes is basically from Liberia so those of you who are from Liberia you would know about sweet potato greens and I think Congolese also eat sweet potatoes um, sweet potato greens sorry um, so that is one done so I have my plate there I'm going to to use that another time at the moment I'm doing I'm cooking for, I'm cooking dinner I'm using CCMA's um, recipe a yam potage recipe but i'm using potatoes to make that uh if you haven't watched already go and watch my first, my other video called composting which i did earlier on so that is just going to go into my into my potage and then i'll pop this shit in here okay so let us continue well so that's three pots done so I'm going to do I'm going to do um, to do just two because the other two I've got another video to do to use it to create another video so I won't be using all of it in this one we'll see how it goes we'll see how it goes so I'll continue and then I'll half it And just I'm just using it now to fill up the gaps on the side of the planting pot where there is space
So the parts that doesn't grow, it will just decompose into my compost, which is still good for my compost anyway. So that either way, it's a win-win. Let me know what kind of food you you eat in your country, you know, your native dishes that you use put it in the comment section maybe i might try it out you never know okay so those are all my pots done all my pots done now i don't have extra compost um to cover it but normally i would cover the top of the compost um uh, to cover it up to here with the what's it called with compost but I'm going to get my compost tomorrow. So I'll do that covering part. Then unless I find... Do you bear with me? I have a pot here. So I've got excess... excess and um, compost so for illustration purpose I'll just add a bit on top okay so you just add a little bit of compost to cover your potato peels okay so at least it can start its growing process today So that is one done and then let me turn it around this is my herb my my herbs my herb garden so it's my indoor herb garden and I've got mint there and I've got basil So that's my second pot done and then my final pot let's do and then that's that done so I have to make sure that I even this this one out so that my the roots of my mint doesn't dry out. So that's that done. Okay, put that back on my window, and let's continue with our process. So that is three done, and then. Finally, I've got three polythene here. So you have to cover your you have to cover your planting pots with polythene, or if you have a propagator top, if you have a propagator with a propagator top, then you can um, just pop this into a propagator and cover it with the propagator top but i don't have that kind of a propagator yet so i improvise with polythene and remember you have to make sure if you haven't watched my other video on planting press go and watch it so you have to make sure that um you do it tightly and the polythene doesn't have what's it called a gap in it or a hole in it otherwise it will take a long time to grow so that is one done 
So I just pop this. I have to um, label it. potato greens because I've got cress that I've planted um, tomatoes that I've planted and also today I planted mustard so that is why I have to label it and then I'll just pop this on the sides so then I do another, the other one okay let me label it Okay. Sweet. Two greens. Greens. So I do the same process again with this one. Is it good enough? remember you have to make sure that it's fully covered there's no gaps otherwise it will take time to grow so the thing about this compost is also moist so otherwise I would have watered it but tomorrow when I add the dry compost then I will water it using using one of these my improvised watering can which is just a clear bottle with holes at the top which I use make which I used hot nails to make there so that is what I use for my watering and that's one down last one I'll have to use this one because the other one is not so again like that, you tie the end and you tuck it. And um, I would advise that you check it after seven days, after a week, you take off the, what's it called, you take off your polythene on each planting pot and um, you check if your plant has started to germinate once it starts to germinate it has started to germinate you take the polythene off and you let your plant continue your crop continue to grow okay so that is it guys thank you so much for watching this video for those of you who have subscribed to my channel, thank you so much. For those of you who watch my channel without subscribing, please do subscribe so I can get to a substantial amount where we're able to I'm able to live stream um, some content to you guys and also to do premiere um, videos with you guys live so you can get the, a, a live feel of my kitchen and my content creation and all of that stuff that i will be doing with you guys on this channel in terms of business lifestyle and also um talking about some real life issues okay so i shall see you guys in the next video bye